Hey folks, welcome back to the channel. Today I have a review of a new radio that just hit the market. I know, this looks like it's been around for a while, but no, this is brand new to the FR Sky lineup. They just started shipping. This is the FR Sky X9 Lite S. It's the S model. What is the S model? Well, it's about 150 bucks more than the non-S model. There are some big improvements that they've made to this radio. So here I have the non-S model, and at first glance, looks pretty much the same. Never mind the gimbals, uh, those, that was a custom job I did, but this is the, uh, the type of gimbal that comes in the regular uh, X9 Lite. These are uh, M7 Hall gimbals out of a QX7, but that's a, that's a whole different video. Um, so off the hop, looking at it, they look exactly the same until you get to the top here. And then you notice the X9 Lite S has these two momentary switches, which is kind of nice, especially if you're in the uh, in the mindset of using a pre-arm switch. These become very, very handy. Uh, another big difference is these are Hall Effect gimbals. All the work I put into putting Hall Effect gimbals into this guy, uh, yeah, they went ahead and released it with Hall Effect gimbals pre-installed. You do get the Bluetooth trainer in this radio, which you do not get with that one. And the other big feature that they did is they included built-in 18650 charging. This radio, I had to add a modification and add a, uh, I had to modify this and add a charging board and a balance lead to make that work on this one. So basically everything that I've done to this radio, FR Sky has come out and just made it available out of the box for this one, other than the Bluetooth trainer port, whether uh, whether that matters to you or not. A couple other things that come in the box, you do get your your little gimbal protectors, which, uh, you know, that's kind of nice. You also get a USB charging cable, a couple stickers, and you do get, you get this, I'm not 100% sure what that's for. You get these really cheesy, faux leather grips that don't come with the adhesive on them that you have to, to add adhesive on them and all that. These are, these are crap. I, I wouldn't worry about that at all. But if you do want some grips for it, hey, I know a guy who makes grips for these radios. They're super awesome. They're only about seven bucks a piece. I'll put the link to his Etsy shop down in the video description. Highly recommend those grips. Super, super good grips. Uh, so anyways, it does come with uh it does come in mode two with the ratchet enabled on the throttle i don't know if you can hear that yeah that's got to go all right so let's go ahead and get in this and see what is different all right now that we got this open it's just the four screws to get it apart you will have to disconnect your two shoulder buttons here which is pretty simple just a little connector and inside here you can already see that this is a little different there's an extra wire and uh this, I'm not exactly sure what this is. I'm assuming it's probably a fusible link, uh, just in case you happen to have something go bad in your LiPo bay. Um, they did the smart thing, like URUAV uh, put out a charging mod for the original X9 Lite, didn't balance the two 18650 lithium ion batteries. Very, very dangerous. Um, I had made some suggestions to Banggood to add my set of instructions to their website, and they did adding in this, but on mine, it was just more or less a soldered up piece of wire. This is kind of nice. They did a really good job with this balance port. It actually has a ma uh, magnet on it to hold on to the 18650 battery. Uh, one thing to note is your batteries are gonna have to be 18650s with the flat tops, not the button cell style. And if for some reason you hook these up and it doesn't power on, it may be that this is not making contact with your cell. You may need to go and trim some of the heat shrink off of your battery to make a good connection. Just something to note. So let's go ahead and get this back half out of the way. And let's bring in our trusty X9 Lite, the original version. All right, as you can see, uh, please ignore all this stuff that looks like somebody installed that on their own because somebody did install that on their own. That's all mine stuff. So here we see we ha have the two main boards. They are 
completely different from each other. Um, very, very different setup between the two. A um, couple extra things that are scabbed onto this board that don't exist in this one. I'm not exactly sure what either one of these are. They have been ground down to remove the identification of what these components are. If I had to guess based on the heavy solder on this one, I would say this is probably the power management board for charging. And I would guess that this is probably the uh, Bluetooth wireless trainer. That's just a guess. I have no idea. Um, looking at the gimbals, so we have the Hall Effect gimbals here. They look like they would be a direct drop-in for replacing the standard potentiometer gimbals that come in the X9 Lite. But to be honest with you, these are really good gimbals. They're ball bearing gimbals. You can see, you can see all the balls in there. These feel really good, but you know, some people just want to up to upgrade to upgrade. Um, for this M7 upgrade I did, I really don't recommend unless you super really just wanted to. Uh, it's not, it was a pain in the butt. I don't think it was worth it, but so also that, I mean, that's really about all the major difference I see between the two radios. So I will go ahead and set this one aside and just kind of the anatomy of this radio. All right. So FR Sky is being real clever here. They're starting to grind off the surfaces of some of their larger chipsets, uh, probably to protect their intellectual pro in to Inter intellectual in their IP man I can't do that word um, so here's a good overlook of the new board and let's see here is your ISRM module so this is the internal radio module so nothing crazy in here uh, as far as the construction quality goes I think it's Pretty standard for FR Sky. It looks really good. There's no weird things scabbed onto the board. Um, if you saw my review of the Jumper T16 Pro, uh, I was pretty disappointed with the build quality of it. A bunch of ribbon cables everywhere. And now I'm starting to see a lot of people having issues with those ribbon cables. Um, higher quality would be just wires and JST connections. Uh, this is this is very well, well built radio, even though it is fairly inexpensive and is small, which I really like the form factor of it. So the difference between this radio and the standard X9 Lite, um, so you do get quite a few new features. As far as the interface and everything goes, it's exactly the same as what we're used to with FR Sky. You do get Hall, uh, Hall Effect gimbals, you get the Bluetooth trainer, you get built-in uh, USB charging for your batteries for your 18650s, and you get the two extra momentary buttons on the top for about an extra $50. Is that worth it to you? Well, uh, yeah, I'd say it's probably a worthwhile upgrade. Uh, I wouldn't ditch my X9 Lite to get this radio, but if you were in the market for something like this, I would say this is probably worth the extra, extra couple bucks. The Stick ends do come off, so you can upgrade those if you don't like the, the standard FR Sky style stick ends. And they are the standard M3 style stick ends, not the M4 like you would find on the larger gimbals. So if you're looking for replacement gimbals, make sure you're getting the M3 style. Um, if you are not a mode two pilot and you're a mode one pilot, the adjustments and changes are very easy to get to. Um, it's not as easy as the X light where you don't have to take the radio apart at all, but it is very accessible, very easy to do. All right, folks. So that is the X nine light S. Like I said, it's not, or it is an improvement over the X nine light. Um, what do you guys think? Do you think this is worth an extra $50 for the gimbals, the switches, the built-in charging and the Bluetooth trainer. Have you ever even used a Bluetooth trainer or a trainer, period? I, I never have, but um, I can see plenty of uh, scenarios where it would be kind of nice to have that, especially not being tethered together by a wire. Uh, but anyways, uh, what do you guys think? You guys like this? Um, and it does use access, so you can bind to all the access receivers. You can bind to any D16 mode receivers. Again, no D8 mode. That is just... The world we live in now with FR Sky, 
Uh, if you want to do D8, you can, um, you can get one of these, a little XJT light module to do D8. These work extremely well. Um, and until the drone manufacturers, you know, people like Hyatt Model that produce the flight controllers, uh, get that stuff straight where they're just native D16, they get rid of the whole D8 thing. Um, it's something we're gonna have to deal with for a little while. Um, there is a way to bind this to some of these receivers with the built-in SPI module, like the Happy Model boards, uh, the Crazy Bee boards, things like that. Uh, I'm not gonna cover that in this video, but you can definitely do that with this radio. Um, stay tuned for that. That will be coming up. I'll show you how to make that work, show you how to set this up. And I will dive into how this whole system works, especially with access now. All right, guys, thanks for stopping by. Thanks for checking us out. If you're interested in this radio or anything else from any of my vendors, please check that link down below. This was sent to me by Banggood for review. Thank you so much. I really am going to enjoy this radio. This is probably going to become my next daily driver. I'm probably going to move my X Lite Pro off to pasture, and this will probably be they'll probably be my new my new daily driver. All right, guys, thanks for stopping by. Thanks for checking us out. If you want to see what you can do to help me out, check the links down below. If you want some grips, check that as well. All right, guys, I will see you next time. Keep flying.